Hello there, my YouTube family. How are you? I am Helen Sadler, your destiny helper. Thank you so much for allowing me to come to you with the different programs. And I am so elated with the emails, comments. And for those of you who are just supporting the program by subscribing to the program. And when you subscribe, the little bell will pop up push the bell and when I come on it will alert you to new programming and I am just thoroughly elated that these programmers are, these programs are blessing you and strengthening you many of you are going to some very difficult time right now uh, as you are making change in your relationship your relationship has taken a turn many of you are going through divorce many of you have been discarded and you're trying to figure out what happened and many of you have actually escaped once the mask came off and you found out what you were dealing with many of you didn't even know what you were dealing with until after the escape or after the discard and those of you who have you feel trapped that are in a cluster B relationship, narcissistic relationships. And you're saying that, how am I going to make it? Because I'm going through patterns of destructions emotionally, mentally, uh, and, and my mind is just being overthrown and I'm finding it very, very, very difficult to maintain in this relationship i have several videos please go to my video list and see the videos there that can assist you in your maneuvers that can assist you in your thinking that us can assist you when you have to stay put and you have to fight until a gateway open and then many of you are dealing with uh, uh co-parenting you're dealing with court situation financial devastation. Many of you say I've lost everything. Many of you have even suffered mental loss where you have to be uh, temporarily institutionalized. And then you were counted as unfit and you had to fight all the way back to where you are now. And many of you are still in the struggle. I want you to know that you are not alone. We are here to help you. We are here to assist you. We are here to encourage you. If you need a cheerleader corner, we understand what it takes for your survival because we too have also had to endure, overthrow, overcome, and sustain. And once you get your life back, you are still stronger you are more powerful you are less bendable in situation you can endure things that you never thought you could endure you are coming back better you're not coming back the way you got in there you're coming back better than you've ever 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 been and that is your gift for passing the test this is your gift for sustaining, surviving. This is your gift for the fight back zone in which you had to go in and prevail not only for you, but many of you for your families, for your children, and most of all for yourself. And we applaud you and appreciate you. And survivors, I want you to know that we celebrate you because not many people can go through such torturous relationship and such malignant attitudes and purposeful disasters to your character, to your mind, to your body. Many, many of you have suffered physical traumas. Many of you have seen people lose their life. You almost lost your life physically. And some of you have went through the dynamics of mental torment that is on a scale that you will have to write about because most people wouldn't even believe that a human can endure such atrocious things and still survive. We applaud the survivors and we honor you. On this morning, I want to come to you because the question is, I say words, I fight back. And when I fight back, it seems like there's worse torment from my narcissist. What is happening? There is something that is called narcissistic injury. The narcissistic injury is when you say words that the narcissist don't like, they, they, or you do what they don't like, or you, you, you fight back. You don't uh, succumb to what they're saying you are. You resist those words. You can cause narcissistic injury in your fight back. Your words are injuring them. Your words are hurting them. Your words are bothering them. To them, 
you are a renegade because most narcissists have set up intentional measures and pathways for you to flow because they have a tendency of grandiosity. They're better than anybody. They think they're psychologically more astute than anyone. And so when you do not conform to what they want, there is a pure lesson that they're going to teach you and they traumatize you. They cause torment even more when you don't submit to what they want. A narcissistic injury is like a person maybe who got shot and you are touching the wound that they got shot. You're pressing on the wound. It makes them holler. It makes them uncomfortable. It makes them scream and they fight back because narcissists, a lot of narcissists, they're immature in their mindset. They're irresponsible and they have no sense of balance when it comes to you and when it comes to them and when it comes to what they want. So when they present an opportunity to do what they've asked you to do, when they've asked you to do it, because if you notice that when you came out of the love bomb and many of you actually moved in with the narcissist, married the narcissist, have long-term relationship with the narcissist, the narcissist have you on the clock. They tell you where you're going to be, when to be there and how to respond to them. And when you do not be there, when you do not call, when they tell you to call, when you're not responding the way they tell you to respond, if they need to do something, they ask you for money and they've asked you several times and they have no sense of balanced budget for the family. And you know that if you give this money that you're going to suffer because this money may have been for the rent. This money may have been for the car payment. They don't care that the rent does not get paid because the narcissist will go and triangulate and get somebody else and stay while you and the kids suffer. A lot of people have end up sleeping in their cars, going to shelter, trying to please the narcissist who is only geared toward themselves. They're not geared toward the kids. They don't care about the kids. Everything goes to the narcissist. The narcissist is filled with themselves. They care about themselves. And once you don't care about what they care about, they feel that you are a, a, a enemy and they would do everything they can to make sure that they utilize a smear campaign against your character. And men them got flying monkeys. And I mean, the addiction to them is tremendous because most people, even in friendship business, get addicted to that narcissist. Not every relationship is a sexual relationship, but all relationship with the narcissist that they spend long term relationship, the frequency of the narcissists give off that emissions of, de of uh, a dependency and they get addicted when they're dealing with a narcissist and some people who just have a cordial friendship uh they have a business their business it has to be about the narcissist they want to come out but something keep pulling them in that is the addiction that is the attraction it keeps them there with the narcissist. So when you disengage with the desire of the narcissist, because you feel like I don't have to do that. I don't want to do it and I will not do it. Then the narcissist come after you a full force. It makes them angry. They are manip manipulative and they are malevolent. And what they would do is devise a smear campaign. They will sub devise sabotage. They will go after you and they will not rest until they win. The narcissist is after the win factor. When they lose, that's an injury. That's a narcissistic injury. When it look like you've got over, that's a narcissistic injury. When you escape, that's a narcissistic injury because you got to remember Remember, the narcissists feel like nobody can resist them. Their love bombing is so under wrap until they got you in your mind and your finances, your body, your will, your emotions, your dreams, your goal. They believe you'll give up a job for them. You'll leave family for them. You'll even neglect your own children for them. They believe they're that powerful because most narcissists have a God factor mindset. They feel like they're gods, whether they are male or female. So you cause narcissistic injury and the testaments of what has happened and the testimonies of what has occurred. Yeah. <laughs> 
after you have resist what the narcissist wanted from you, after you have resist what the narcissist say is theirs from you, they take hold of your life like a slave, like you just a peasant. The narcissist have no sense of loyalty, love, caring, compassion whatsoever. It doesn't matter how you negotiate, how you plead. When it's not what they want, it will not be what they do. And when they do it, you better believe there's a string on the back of it because everything works for them. And when it don't and they get injured, you will know because they're going to cry loud. They're going to cry loud and they will not stop. They will turn your friends. A narcissist will get your best friend when you have injured them and they will sleep with your best friend as a retaliation point. They will sleep with children if they have to as a retaliation point. Where they go with retaliation is massive. It's massive and it is malignant because they're after the juggler. They will hurt. They will abuse. Tears is just a gratification to their win. They want those tears. They want you to, re to, to react. When you react, they know they're in because they got you to cry out. They got you to holler and that's what they want. They want you to feel the brunt of their weight upon your juggler. They want to break your spine because when a narcissist get injured, they cannot handle the injury. You have to be very wise, especially the, those of you who dealing with physical violence. I mean, a narcissist, they get physical, the psychotic narcissist. I mean, they are malignant and they are very, very dangerous. Never underestimate an enemy that has an intention to intention to hurt you when they are intentional. When the narcissist keep bellowing out threats, don't you play with with them. You find cover. You take them for what they say. You say, but they are liars. They don't tell the truth. Yes, but they are malignant and they are cunning and they are calculative. They will pursue what they tell you they will pursue. And don't let anybody tell you any different. You protect yourself and you protect those children. A narcissistic injury is very volatile and is very serious. And those of you who don't have uh, control of your mouth, you just run off at your mouth. You are with a narcissist. You need to get videos, books, and read upon what that means. Many of you are ignorant of who you live with. Who you live with was never the person you saw. You are living with a fictitious character. They are the best theatricals you ever seen in your life. And the person you lived with for 25 years, you've not known. That's why they go through cycles of change and cycles of transformation. And you wake up days and wonder who are, whoa, who is that? Because they're constantly changed. They change according to their exposure because the narcissists don't love. They shut themselves down. So it's almost like relearning to live for them. And they mirror what they think should be. And they're calculating with all the relationship. They're calculating with all the experiences they had. And that is their determination of what should be like a calculative uh, or like an android who you input information. Then when they, you interact with an android, android, you're not interacting with the android emotionally. You're interacting with the android informationally. That Information is what you're getting, and each core, uh, 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 what can I say? Uh, yes, category has its own line of information. So if, if it's a love moment, they pull up all the information for love and they give you out of that information zone. And when they come to the end of it, they will learn a new information zone. A narcissist know when it's time to let off because the old venture done got too wise. They'll go to a new supply because the new supply don't know them. They can mask for the new supply and they're not getting injury after injury after injury after injury. But the old supply done went through so much much. They're breaking down your character. You feel your mind leaving. You feel your personality leaving. You don't even know who you are. You're trying to be a mom and it's hard for you. Your day and day 
every day is a struggle of survival. You are just surviving. You haven't thrived in years. You don't know who you are. You're losing the, the concept of your person. You don't fix yourself up. And when you do, it's so much energy. You're going to copious energy drain until you exist in relationship you just exist with the kids now you are a robot you just flow with whatever you think is necessary because your fight is gone you have to get your fight back and some of you are like wild cats in a corner you know you just swinging you done came out scratching biting kicking and you just trying to survive well you have to get strategy and wisdom to survive because you are at your lowest point is not enough to stop a narcissist. A narcissist will pursue you to your last breath. They don't care if you are uh, having your claustrophobia, uh, you having claustrophobia in situation. They don't care if you have an asthma attack in situation. They don't care if you immobilize in situation, you still have breath. And as long as you have breath, that narcissist will pursue you to your last breath. And if you give them your last breath, that is a trophy on their shelf. They have no remorse. They are not sad. They have no regrets. They may regret the fuel, but they don't regret the person. And see what happens is when you cause an injury, they spend all of their time uh, surveying you, uh, conjecturing against you. They spend all of their time making sure sabotage, making sure that everything you want to work for you don't. They would influence people that you are close to and tell them all kind of stuff until they have the people around you under suspicion because the narcissist wants you to hurt and they want you to hurt like you hurt them. Narcissistic injury is very serious. Don't play with it. Don't think the narcissist is going to change because you look better, because you got more money. You just going to get broke because they're going to spend all of that too. And then you have to go get more money, more money. Some of you are taking out loans. It's not even that you have the money. You're taking out loans. Loans have to be paid back and your credit is your name. So when you need something in the future, you have just destroyed your credit because you can't pay back all the loans. The narcissists are adults people and they should take care of themselves. They, they can work, they can go forth. And many people that do work, they are so irresponsible. They spend everything. They are consumers and they are getting better and better at consuming and they're not investing, but they're consuming everything you got. They're consuming everything you borrowed. They're consuming everything you make. And then when you realize what is happening and you're in debt over your head, and you trying to figure out how to pay the bills because they are not helping, then you cause narcissistic injuries. And this injury caused more torment because while now you are paying $60,000, $100,000 worth of debt on your 26, uh, 30, 40, 50, thousand dollar a year job you are stressed emotionally and if we you stress out and you just just uh burn out now you can't even work because you're trying to emotionally heal you won't protect your mind the narcissist cannot be won over it's a personality disorder they are who they are to the core it to, to me now i'm coming from the spiritual part i understand all of the therapists psychiatrists psychologists counselors uh coaches everybody i don't refute them they are right they are right to the point they are right to the point where they tell you there is no change for the narcissist. The reason they tell you that is because the narcissists have an inability to look within themselves to change and they have an inability to accept the problem that they create. They blame everybody. And as long as you blame everybody, it's like an alcoholic. Until you say that I am an alcoholic, you acknowledge your problem. It's everybody's fault. You drink and drink and drink and you say, I drink because they get on my nerve. I drink because they pressure me. I drink, but nevertheless, you are drinking. You're causing catastrophe when you drink, but you are making it everybody else's problem. So it doesn't matter 
matter what problem you have when it belongs to everybody else, you still drinking. The drinking is the problem because your mind change, your behavior change. When you drink, it doesn't matter why you drink. It's that you are drinking. And that's the way it is with a narcissist. It doesn't matter what they do. It's the fact that they are narcissists. You say, well, I'll lose weight. I'll become more beautiful. I'll become more seductive. Yeah, you. if you get into their eye gate and you get into their emotion gate and you get into their desire gate and you stir up all of that sex, they're going to have sex with you like nobody's business. Get up out of their bed and go tri triangulate because you got to remember they get bored easy. They're not going to stick with you. They're not going to be loyal with you. There's a reason they were diagnosed with MPD. And I believe that it takes the power of God to break that off. And I mean, get into an anointing where it just overthrow them, overwhelm them. And because salvation requires for you to make an independent choice, salvation required for you of your own will to yield to God. He draws you, you submit to it, the drawing, and you say, this is what I want because you have to live it. That's why it's impossible. And so you trying to please a narcissist. Most of you have lost weight. You re you colored your hair. You fix yourself up. You, you bought new clothes. You bought new cars. You got your house furnished and the narcissist come in and enjoy the moment and boom, they're back to their old ways. Okay. How much money did you spend? You can do another 50,000, a hundred thousand, 250,000 to remodel your home. You can't do it. And so now what do you do? You stuck with the same attitude as you had before. And then you're causing injury because you're wounded, you're hurt, and you can't believe that nobody in their right mind would do you like that, okay? Then they must not be in their right mind. And so you keep having affairs because you're married, but you have an affair with your husband, you never felt like the wife. And if it did, it was temporary. And then you never know that he's faithful. You got this little inkling that he's cheating and he's lying, that he isn't. And then he don't come home. He get mad, make up excuses for him to stay three days. It's always your fault. If you just talk, you just talk. You don't love me. You don't care about me. If you cared about me, you would give me another 25,000. If you cared about me, you would do this. It's always raising the bar. The bar never stays the same and it doesn't stay within reachable goals. It goes higher and higher and higher. The narcissist can't even do it. And the narcissist demand out of you what he wants to be, what she wants to be. And she cannot ask ascertain that. So they blame you for what's failing on the inside of them. They are just like a loose docket or a bottomless pit. It doesn't matter what you put in them. It is not sustainable. Sustainable. And then as soon as you realize this, the better off you'll be because many of you already been there for 25, 30, 40, 50 years. And you see, it's the same. You still got the same traits as when he was 20. You still got the same traits as when he was 30. Well, now he's 60 years old. He's still triangulating. He's still trying to get it, except he's more trained now. He's he's not the uh, 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 Lord Narcissist that he used to be. He now have graduated through experience and he done had hundreds of relationships that he done walked away. And if you can look in his relationship zone, there's all kind of bodies scattered on highways, byways, roadside pathways, streets, uh, in, in bios floating across oceans and rivers, you know, it, it just floating. Why? Because he can't sustain endurance of a relationship. He's bored easy. The child that plays with a toy is excited when you buy it. But a month later, he's crying for another toy. And this toy is thrown somewhere. And he don't even acknowledge that you ever bought the toy, even though it took you three hours standing in the line to get it. You always paid the ultimate price for the spoiled child. You always pay the ultimate price for the spoiled child. It's time for you to see. Stop closing your eyes and say you don't see. And your mind is talking to you. Your emotion is talking to you. Your will is talking to you. You are causing narcissistic injury as a reaction. <coughs> Excuse me. And not a response. When you have children, if you pay, they pay. If you're crying, they see you crying. And many of you are crying night and day. Your eyes are swollen. 
you wear sunglasses in the daytime when you go to work and they think you've been beat up and you say, but he's never hit me. He's never hit you with his fist. He hit you with his mouth. He hit you with his desire. He hit you by denying you sexual activity and he's your husband. Or he make you beg for it and you don't and you have to beg for what you want because he treats you like a slave and not a wife. And you settle for it. You settle for it. Stop settling and realize who you are. And realize you no longer have to settle for second best. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. And it can go as long as you tolerate it. If you tolerate 25 years, you can have 25 years of this. You tolerate 50 years. We got them. You can have 25, 50 years of this. When will you learn your value? When would it become about you? Many of you don't go to church anymore. You don't pray anymore. All of that has changed, but they did not change. The narcissists did not change, but you did. Instead of them changing to love you, you changed to keep them. Because it's not even love what you're receiving. And you know that love does not hurt, wound, kill, stomp disloyal, cheating, verbally abused, physically abused, mentally abused, like this. Causing an injury is not in your favor because the narcissist will fight back <laughs> and they're vicious because where you feel and you will retract, they don't feel and they will commence. They will keep going forward. What are you going to do now? That's why you're asking the question, why do they hurt me so bad? That's why they hurt you so bad. They've been injured. You have caused a narcissistic injury. And the child always fight back, have a temper tantrum, because they never got their way. Now it's time for you to live. Stop reacting. Think. Respond. Slow it down. Slow it down. You're wounded. You're wounded because the great question is, why don't you love me? He can't. She can't. They're incapable of giving you what you want. And you're going to spend your life trying to win them. And all you're going to do is be deeper into debt, deeper into hurt, deeper into torment. If that's the kind of investment that you want to get residuals from, then you keep doing that. But other than that, you need a strategy for life for you and your children. And if you don't have children, you have no excuse to die in a place when life is all around you. Life is your gift. Life is your right. And you are being denied. Do something about it. How do you do something about it? Grow yourself. Because you are addicted. Listen to the videos. Read books. Get affirmation going. Relax with uh, lavender. Stimulate with cinnamon. Get magnesium. Relax yourself. Get uh, serotonin when you need to sleep. Start catering to yourself. Start catering to yourself. Give to you. When moments of thoughts come to give to you, do it. Don't fight it. Because once the narcissist see you giving to yourself, that's going to cause an injury. Because you're not supposed to give to them yourself. You're supposed to give to them. Everything you have caters to them. Remember that. Start thinking about you. When you give to you, you will arise. When you give to your mind, it will get stronger. Your mind is your thoughts, your will, your emotion. In your thought is your imagery gate, is your word gate. 
Your will is your mobility. It gets everything motion, moving with discipline. And your emotion is your field gate. You're going to have to protect that gate more than anything because you want to feel your way through life. Life does not run off of feeling. It runs off of thinking. So you're going to have to spend time with your knowledge gate. And so you got to feed yourself those affirmations. Listen to the video. Every video that works for you, listen to it. I have several videos. Go through the videos. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe. It's more than you just hearing me. It's life. It's strength. It's power. The, when you listen to me, empowerment is released to you. And you need to be strengthened. You need to be empowered. You will not come away from this video without being empowered. Depression, I command to leave you. Oppression, I command to leave you. Spiritual blindness, I command to leave you. I command your will to be loose. Man has no right to govern your will. That's your personal gift. And you only yield it to the place of benefit. Not in the place of torment. And I lose light in your mind that every place has been cloudy, foggy, and dark, that you will wake up in the name of Jesus. Those of you who are not Christians, meditate. Bring yourself into some strong meditation. Bring yourself into some good affirmation. Bring yourself, some of you do prayers. Then bring yourself into the prayer. What works for you? Get up and do it. Christianity works for me. What works for you? Get up and do that. Now, I believe Jesus will work for anybody and everybody. That's my belief, and I'm not changing. But what works for you? Get up. Get up and do that. Spend time. You want to meditate? If that gives you peace, go for it. Get some affirmation. Books are powerful. Go on YouTube. Get positive affirmation for the mind. Encouragement for the mind, wisdom for the mind. Go on that. They have hours that you can strengthen your mind. Go on YouTube. They got it. Meditation point, music, soft music, tranquil music that can cater to you. Get you uh, some candles and light those candles. Let those fragrance, uh, potpourries, get them, get them. You deserve to grow you because once an injury start going, you usually go to the stage of devaluation. Once you injure them, you are headed toward a discard. You are headed toward a discard. They're going to give you the silent treatment. They're going to start fading out. They're going to start triangulating. They're going to start gaslighting. They're going to start devaluating, devaluation. They're going to start lying cheating some of them start hitting and beating and biting and just tormenting you don't allow your children to see this because they think that's what life is mom dad there's help some of you need to go to a domestic violence center go there tell them what's going on go to your ymcas go there there is help. Go on YouTube. Put your city and state on uh, not YouTube on um, the internet. Google um, Safari, uh, uh, Yahoo, Bing, any internet service, and put in "I need help from domestic violence." Where do I go? The first thing they're going to ask you is your location. Tell them your location and your zip code. They will tell you where you can go. If you can't go to family, you can go there and secure you and the family. Because once you start an injury, your trial, your test, your challenge, your devastation, your devaluation, your gaslighting, has just begun. You are greater than that. You are so beautiful inside and out. 
but it's been so long since you've seen yourself because all you have seen is the narcissist. The narcissist became your mirror. You're not going to see anything positive that you have if you look in the narcissist's mirror because the mirror was made for them. That mirror is not your reflection. Your reflection is hidden away. So those of you who are just reacting and you are just sprouting out hurtful, revengeful things, it is not to your wisdom and it's not to your benefit. And with that situation, you will never win over a narcissist. If you think you're going to break them down, they will leave and torment you before they allow you to break them all the way down. And those of you who think you've broken down, a narcissist has a personality disorder. They are that to the core. So when you have changed and you are sorry, they are not sorry. You change. You are sorry. Yes, but they are not. Let's do something about it. I've given you a lot of things to do. Do it and live again. Narcissistic injury calls to the narcissist is very dangerous when the narcissist see who's on the other end of the cause. Cause and effect works all the time. Get the help you need. They are not changing. You change. They know what they are, many of them. And they see the advantage of hurting and taking over people. They're like a wolf that is real hungry. The way they eat is horrible. And they eat meat. Flesh. Don't allow yourself to be eaten where you disappear and you no longer exist, even though you're walking, breathing. You're just in the realm of existing. You're not living. I pray that this video has really helped you. I pray that this video has been a blessing to you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Listen to other videos. This may be tough, but get tougher. Strengthen yourself. Life is beautiful and it can be even more beautiful with you in it. I'm Helen Sattler, your destiny helper.